Hi everyone, it's here, thanks for stopping by. So, my third and final part of my fantasels, a huge haul and bagging, and we'll get on to the last ones. Two of them are the same, um, I did actually order three the same. Uh, two of them, well one of them I've managed to sort of like determine that that one was the same as the others, but one of them I can't find, so sorry I'm waffling. <laughs> no, I ordered three of the same canvas. You'll see why when I show you. I can't work out from these which two are the same. As you can see, they're all pretty much the same. The numbers are all different on them. Um, one of them that I've taken out, the numbers were the same. So hopefully I've got the right ones. But anyway, we'll get through them and have a look. So get that one first. And see what's in this one. I don't like to get my money's worth out of postage. Um, fan cells and some of the companies do tend to charge around the £7-ish mark for postage to the UK. So what I tend to do is try and order quite a few things at once um, so that the postage becomes like a pound per item um, rather than you know ordering one item and paying like £7 postage on it. That's just not cost effective. And that's my excuse for ordering a lot more. <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. Oh, yes. Oh, this is quite a stiff canvas. Okay. Um, we've got your basic toolkit, which is your back, backs, wax, pen and boat. Backs, where did that come from? Okay. <laughs> um, we've got your... Standard acrylic gems there in ooh, the white packaging with no DMC codes on there. Is there any on the canvas? Yes, we have DMC codes on this one. Phew. Okay, so let's just fold this back a little bit. It is a quite a stiff canvas, as I say. And it is a doggy stairway to heaven. Um, we've just got there, look. Just the little stairs and the paw prints going up there. Oh, could do with a rainbow bridge at the bottom as well, but I thought that was quite poignant, quite sweet. And we've just got some little angel wings up there in the clouds. Oh, just thought that it was something a bit different, something nice to do. Whether I'll put it on the wall or not, I'm not sure. But it is one that I did want to get. I've been looking at different ones. There's quite a few versions of this type of canvas around. Um, and I did think why I'm going to get that one. I'm not quite sure whether they're dog paw prints or cat paw prints, but anyway, I don't really mind. Um, I have both dogs and cats over the Rainbow Bridge, so I don't mind. It will go for either. Right, so it says it is a 30 by 40. We have 18 different gems, and that's a really nice, clear key code there with all capital letters. Yep, all capital letters. And I think I can see those pretty well. And I said DMC codes. And we've got your code on both sides. So that's really good as well. We've just got a little teeny tiny pop of pink here in the top. But yeah, that's really good. It's strange. Um, we went to a place in the UK uh, on the south coast called Beachy Head quite a few years back. And I took a photograph of this cloud that literally did just look like steps as the sunshine was shining through the clouds. It did look like steps. Really, really strange. And um, if I can find the picture, I'll put it in uh, here. But yeah, it was just quite a haunting thing to see. Like a stairway to heaven. Okay, let's have a look at these girls. So the canvas number is on them. Um, most companies now seem to put the canvas number on the drills as well and on each bag. So if you'd separated one bag and it had gone down the side of the settee, um, if you've kept your canvas number, then you will find that you can match it up with your drills. Just a little tip there. Um, do you think I speak from experience? Probably. <laughs> Packets of drills going down the side of the settee? Probably. <laughs> okay, so we've got a rose pink. And uh, that looks like a black there. 310 black. And a pale grey. And a darker grey. 
and the sort of mid grey in between that one. There's your little bit of pink. Oh, and then we've got like the purpley blue there. And all your different blues. This is going to take quite a bit of doing. But it's quite an ombre effect going from your, your white there through to all your different uh, blues through to your dark. So it's like coming out, feathering out as it were from the middle. Very, very pretty. And then that's like a navy blue and a deeper blue. And there's a slaty blue and there's a brown there and another little bit of purple and a very grey blue there. That's my uh, peppermint cream green and that looks like 3865 is it? Yep, that's your off white. So with no B5200s which is your very bright white, it is just your off white in this one. Okay. Look like reasonable drills. So I've never had any. I've never had any problems with uh, fan cells drills other than the usual um, just little tiny bits of trash, bits left over from the manufacturing, but nothing hugely to speak of. And I have done a lot of fan cells pictures. So, yeah, that's uh, number one. Let's have a look at number two. OK, this one feels a little bit thinner, so we'll see what's in this one. I have had these since uh, before Christmas. I put the order in before Christmas. It took about two weeks to come. Um, but because of everything that was going on during December and over Christmas, I didn't get round to opening it. So it's a nice way to cheer up a January day. Just opening these and having a look and seeing what we've got. Oh, right. OK, this is the one that I've actually ordered three of. And it's a special drill and that is fantastic compared to how I thought it might come. Wow. Okay. So let's just flatten this out a little bit. That writing is superb. And even once you've got the drills on, I can't see why that isn't going to stand out. Uh, I have three granddaughters in varying different ages. And this says, to my granddaughter, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you will ever know. Kisses, Grandma. And I just thought that was so poignant. Oh, that's a shame. We've just lost a little bit of the W off there. Let me see. It's just slightly cut off there. Oh, that's a shame. But anyway, at least you can see what it says. You can just, we've got most of it. But other than that, that is superb. And I just thought with it having the uh, unicorns on, unicorns and fairies and things and sparkle seems to be really still in at the moment. Still on trend, as people say. <laughs> and there's 12 different gems in this. But isn't that absolutely gorgeous love this so i've got uh, three of the same to do but we'll see how we go there so I'll just flatten this one out we'll measure the actual picture it's lovely pinks and blues and purples very girly and we are 34 and a half centimeters which is 13 and a half inches that way bye 25 centimetres which is nine and three quarter inches that way so yeah it's pretty standard um on a poured glue it is a partial so it is only the uh, lettering and the unicorns that you're putting gems on the top part the background the main background is just uh, printed so you don't have to do anything with that again i don't think this would really lend itself to just putting a whole row of silver gems all the way around the edge using either Mod Podge or um, Craft Buddy Magic Glue or even your sealer or even just a PVA glue. Just put that on and then just put a row of a single um, clear gems all the way around the edge. We'll just frame that and then when you put it into a picture frame it's going to really pop. But how sweet is that? And I just love the sentiment to it. 
Um, I'd like to think that they would put it on their wall. Uh, whether the teenager will or not, I don't know. <laughs> it may be not cool or whatever they call it these days. Is it sick now that uh, they all say? Yeah, it makes me sound like I'm about 300, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, basic toolkit there again. Let's have a look at these gems. Yeah. I don't know if having a present from grandma would really be the in thing to have on your bedroom wall, but you never know. So we've got your basic, uh, don't quite sure why they've put those in a separate bag, but anyway, um, just your clear crystals there. And we have, we have a lovely aqua blue gem, gorgeous colour, and a cherry pinky red and a hot pink hot pink and a lovely palish purple and a paler pink and just some little dots there of your black dressing gems or acrylic gems uh, and a paler blue again and some more so i wonder if they decided that there wasn't enough in that packet and they've added some extras to it and another little bit deeper blue a deeper purple and another palish blue oh look at those like a half sphere and um, pale pink baby pink and they've got an ab coating and an aurora borealis coating so they just sparkle that little bit more okay very pleased with that one so the writing looks great i was a little bit worried and um, looks like the you'll ever know because it's smaller doesn't have any gems on it and kisses doesn't have any gems on it but that's in cursive and that small would be difficult. But uh, certainly that grandma, I mean, they're in capitals. That's cursive. That's big enough. And yeah, I just think that that's going to just stand out brilliantly. Really pleased with that. Really like that. Now I've got to find the end of the packet. So let's put these back in. out of the way oh very pretty right and on to the next right okay i've just found the uh, duplicate one so i won't go through that again because we, we've just seen it and um, it's an identical one so yeah this is what happens when you have more than one you see you've got to uh, keep them all the same so let's have a look at the last one and see what we got can i remember what it is can i heck <laughs> it's quite a fat one this one. Oh, oh all the drills have wanted to come out oh look at those lovely bright colors yes i was definitely on a bright theme when uh, i ordered this uh, collection of paintings Okay, so let's see what this is. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so basic toolkit again, and we're back on the bees. The bee happy, couldn't resist. Uh, you know, I like my bees. If you've seen my previous unboxings, you'll know that I do like bees. And I've even got a gnome that's bee happy. So, yeah, I thought we'd better get some bees with your lovely beehive there and all the pretty flowers to go around. This is a lovely soft canvas. This is really um, quite a nice one. And the colours on this look superb. Again, we've got 30 by 40, 21 different colours. And, sorry, 23 different colours. That's my eyesight. <laughs> Start looking at you thinking i'm sure that says 21 so that must say 23 uh, we have got dmc codes we have your key code at both sides and we do have some lovely big capital letters and look at that no guide circles and lovely clear drill field this will be a really a nice one to do okay let me just uh, Sort this plastic out a little bit so it will lay a little bit flatter. Okay. But yeah, I just thought 
those letters actually look really good as well and they are all more or less one colour so I believe that once it's drilled it will stand out and we will be able to see it if not I will just change the second colour that's highlighting it into the oh, look at it. Whoa. let's just make a mess Liz. let's just push this down and make an absolute mess of this canvas why not <laughs> So that's nicely squished down now. That just flattens it out and just keep it flat. Lovely poured glue. And yeah, oh, just love the colours on this one. Okay, so let's give a quick measure. And we are just under 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter inches by... Thirty-five centimeters, which is thirteen and three quarter inches. I think Hubby must now be awake. He's been asleep. Bless him. He's had quite a um, a busy week, shall we say? He had quite an invasive surgery uh, day surgery done on Thursday, so he's still recovering a little bit. Um, so he's gone to have a lie down. But uh, I think I've just heard some music playing, so I think he's up. So. I will quickly finish this off and then I'll go and see if he needs anything. Okay. It's like most of us when you get that little bit older, it just takes that little bit longer to wake up and that little bit longer to get out of bed. Okay, so let's have a look. Yes, the only thing that pops up out of anywhere in this house is the toaster. <laughs> We have a lovely sunny yellow and a grey and lovely greens there. Love that bright fresh green and some more lovely sunny yellows and oh nice sparkly orange and look at all these blues pale and mid and dark and then that slightly browny colour like a slaty blue colour and that's like a is that one black? Let me have a look. I don't think it is. Nope, that one's 934, so it's a very dark bluey colour. And a green, and a nice rusty colour there. And your hot pink. Goodness me, I, oh yeah, the flowers, I was going to say. I wouldn't expect a bee picture to have hot pink in it, but it's the flowers, Liz. It's got flowers on it, they are pink. <laughs> uh, peppermint cream green. And, and I did get one of those fries peppermint creams at Christmas and I thoroughly enjoyed it and ate it all to myself. And then we've got like a cherry red at the end. Oh, and then we've just got a couple of extras, a couple of aquas and is that one? Number 23 is 3865 which is just your creamy off-white colour there. That is a lovely picture. Really pleased with that one as well. So these away okay well i hope you've uh, enjoyed seeing this little haul so we have a lovely be happy always be happy try to be happy beautiful sentiment to my granddaughters uh, telling them how wonderful they are and a little poignant one of footprints, paw prints to heaven. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing these. If you have, if you could give me a thumbs up, it's always much appreciated. And if you want to press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.